Everybody, welcome to a brand new Let's Play by Colorful Artie. It's Putt-Putt Enters the Race, the next humongous entertainment game in the series, and the next Putt-Putt game in the series, and I gotta say, this is probably the best Putt-Putt game. I mean, I love Putt-Putt Saves the Zoo, I love Putt-Putt Goes to the Moon, but both of those are very linear in uh, how you beat them. This one has multiple branching paths, and it's just all in all a really great game. Hope you enjoy it, let's buckle in. For a great adventure. Now, first thing I want to do is uh, I am playing this on ScumVM, the engine that is uh, meant to run uh, old uh, games that run on the Scum engine on the newer systems. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set a specific path. And the reason for that is uh, there are two main paths that I'll be taking uh, to solve this game. The first one will be I'll be doing by myself, and the second one I'll be doing with my sister Marty. And she has a path already set out that she wants to go for. So I'll be back in a second, I just need to configure that. Alright, so that's the path set, alright. And as for every Humongous Entertainment game, clicking on stuff in the background makes weird things happen. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Flower. <laughs> Dane, that is one musically gifted flower. Holy cow. Never mind. Anything in there? <laughs> Alright. Who's the wise guy? <laughs> Pup Pup, you may have a problem with uh, people throwing stuff out of your mailbox. Whoa, Pup Pup. What's up with this old timey typewriter in your house? And, um, apparently, Pup Putt has both McDonald's and Taco Bell in his house, and they're like, ah, who, who has the fries? Well, I'll just chuck it out the window and hope the car is there. Whoops. Is your finish looking dull? Is your shine fading away? Well, don't delay. Come to Car Town Car Wash today. All you gotta do is put your two cents in. Two cents for a new look, a new shine, a totally new you. Car Town Car Wash. Drive on down and put your two cents in. That's a cl that's clever. And also, can we go back to the economy where we can get a car wash for two cents? That would be great. Race around, round, round, round. Come race around, oh race around, round, round, round. Yes, come on down, down to the speedway. That's right, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Sign up today for the Car Town 500. And here I thought they were talking about Speedway, the gas station. Put your top down and turn your radio up to high blast. It's wacky, zany, crazy KTR Cartoons Radio. Um, I'm cool with playing loud music if the windows are closed, but I'm not putting my top down for that. Ever picked a car full of cauliflower? A ton of tomatoes? Come on over to Baldini's Grocery Store, where a part-time produce picker is wanted. Baldini's, where picking produce is like putting coins in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> nice sound effect. 68, 68, 68 funny cars. Coming soon to the Car Town Speedway, it's 68 funny cars. Featuring Red Rider Rickshaw and Mean Clyde Green. They'll make you laugh, they'll make you giggle, because they're really funny cars. All 68 of them. You're doing a great job of selling me on this. And I need to give the radio a break so we can actually, you know, explore the land. So Papa lives just kind of in the middle of nowhere, apparently. Man, he's kind of a social outcast. So he has to drive into town, whereas everyone else lives in town. 
<laughs> that squirrel was dancing to the Fatty Bear's house music in Balinorama. Little Easter egg. Putt-Putt, you seem to be having a gopher problem in your yard. Actually, is this Putt-Putt's yard? Does he own, like, a huge amount of land? And that's why he lives out <laughs> in, the, in the middle of nowhere? Of course. That music is in most humongous entertainment games. Oh my. It's an armadillo. Look, it's an armadillo! Now that's not something you see around here every day. Papa, you do know, uh, hang on. I don't want to hurt that armadillo. I need to figure out a way to get him to move so I can drive over there. I got news for you, Pup Putt. You can just drive around him. There's like plenty of room. It's a two lane road and you take up a half a lane. Oh well. He stole the nut. <laughs> as soon as I get that armadillo to move out of the way, I can head over to the speedway and talk to Redline Rick. Blue Car Town 500. The countdown starts right now for the biggest race of the year. Five, four, three, two, one. Red Line Rick here. Grab your official gear and motor down to the speedway. See if you can go the distance in the thrilling, the chilling Car Town 500. Let's burn rubber. Okay, there's a monkey that was living in the barrel. More than one. Wow. Now that's what I call a barrel of monkeys. <gasps> it's a duck! Oh, that's fantastic. Revving up is not gonna move that guy. Uh, ScumVM? You gonna let me click on my gas gauge? <laughs> that took a while. Also, there's a menu here that lets you save, load, and quit from this instead of having to know the hotkeys, which is pretty nice. Uh-oh, I think that just scared him. Oh, So apparently Honk and the Horn ain't gonna do it either. Oh yeah, as the squirrel bounces, if you make the apples drop, you can make them drop on his head, which is interesting. Oh, come on! That landed on his head! Don't be picky like that. <laughs> now you have an apple instead, dude. And if you're really quick... <laughs> Alright, Pep. Okay, Pep, give it a try! Pep can scare the armadillo away. Wow, that is a huge armadillo. It's bigger than Pep. Granted, Good Pep boy, is like Pep. a small Gosh, dog, but still. Gosh, I sure still. hope we didn't scare that little guy too much. Well, I guess I can keep on driving. <laughs> Puppet says with the biggest grin on his face, Hope we didn't scare him. <laughs> Car Town Speedway, here I come. Ooh, this must be a new addition. I don't remember this and Puppet joins the parade. Hi, Redline Rick. Well, if it isn't my little buddy Putt Putt. Are you here to sign on up for a big car down 500 race? You bet, Redline Rick. Pep and I have been waiting all year. Well, Whoa. Pup Pup, if you want to be a race car, you have to be able to grip the road, race like the Dickens, and always keep safety first. So you might have to get some things. <laughs> I know. Why could I, I have can done get that whatever I need in car town. Well, here's a list of all the things you'll need to get. You'll need high-powered, high-octane gasoline, super-speed ready to race tires, a safety helmet for Pep, and a triangular flag with the number four on it. That's your official number. Thanks, Redline Rick. I can't wait. I'd better get busy. I have a lot of gear to get before the big race. Can I just say Redline Rick must have a lot of faith in the um, Car Town Postal Service if he's like, Oh yeah, the race is today. Oh yeah, I probably need to send Pup on his invitation. <laughs> like, seriously, it's like the day of the race, Pup It's like, oh cool, I can join. It's like, oh, well, now you're gonna have to buy some things around town. So couldn't you have told me that, like, earlier? I feel like this could have been... Uh, I feel like this could have been worded a little bit better. Come on now. 
But yeah, this is the main plot of the game. We gotta get the stuff on the list, which might be in different places depending on the path you're taking. Oh hey, this guy's working on his own engine. That's pretty cool. Hey man, what's up? Apparently he's like, ah, stranger danger. Because clearly you need to be afraid of pop light. I can't wait to race in the Car Town 500. I've wanted to do it all year. Well, sometimes I miss racing. I miss the feel of speed when rubber meets the road. Well, I'm glad you're here running the speedway. Oh, me too, Putt Putt. I wouldn't trade it for the world. <laughs> That's the greatest good. thing about working the speedway is I just love the smell of asphalt in the morning. Mm -mm. Yeah, I love the smell of asphalt. Okay, that's nice. I got myself a saying, Pud Pud. Goes kind of like this. It's not if you win or lose, it's how you race around the track. I'll remember that red line, Rick. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if that'll come back. Actually, I don't wonder. I know if that comes back or not. Uh, hey, little guy. I didn't know I was playing Centipede. <laughs> It's the other Penguin Boogie. That's awesome. Also, most of Monk's Entertainment games have a song. This one is probably the best. Go, Papa, go, Papa, racing up and down the speedway. Well, Papa's gonna race, and that's a sure bet. He's a groovy little car with a dog named Pep. When he revs up his engine round the speedway, you'll know all the other cars shout go, Pud Pud go, go Pud Pud go, Pud Pud racing up and down the speedway. When I give the green flag, it's a signal to go with Pep's new helmet. He'll be safe, you know. To get the power you need, I can feel he's a must. We're racing with the cars, kicking up all that dust. Go Pud Pud go, Pud Pud racing up and down the speedway. He puts like a flapping with his number on the side He's the coolest little car on a crazy wild ride The car top 500's the best race to run And a good win it, so let's go have some fun Let's go! Way to the finish line He's zooming with the cars Having a grand old time He's got the extra speed To take the curve so fast The car top 500 Sure, it's a blast Go, Papa, go, Papa Racing up and down the speedway Go, Papa, go, Papa Racing up and down the speedway Go, Papa even on Scumpium, it still is off sync at the end. That's just fantastic. On our actual computer, like ancient super boxy computer that can actually run Windows XP natively, it's even more off sync where it's like, go putt! Like three seconds later, they're like, they say, go putt. It's amazing. And yeah, I just want to point out that Humongous Entertainment did not have to put that song in the game. It doesn't really add anything, but holy cow, I'm so glad they did. It's actually a really good, well made song. Anyhow, we've been dawdling for far too long. Let's go have some fun. Let's go. <laughs> hey, it's like Buzzy the Knowledge Bug's green brother. Oh, wow. It's a squirting flower. Cartown Speedway. No, it just, oh, wait. Yeah, it does say Cartown Speedway. Ah, uh, Bug Investigation! Get out of here, Pug Pug! <laughs> and one thing I love... One thing I absolutely love about this game in particular... Holy cow! Like, it's literally the same layout as Pup Pup joins the parade, but they add more stuff. So this is the same town square. You've got Smokey's, the coloring place, the toy store, the car wash, the gas station, and Baldini's grocery store. All in the same square, and that way leads to Pup Pup's house. There's continuity. It's so good! That's less good. Got to do something about the bird problem. It's the Car Town Wash. Yeah, we heard this on the radio. It says Car Town Car Wash, two cents. Put two coins in the slot, please. I don't have two coins. Oh my god, okay, if I went to like a drive-thru and like the actual speaker started opening up and talking to me, that would freak me out a little bit. Then again, I also don't really like going through drive throughs you need to put two coins into the slot before you can enter the Cartel Wash. It's just a curtain. I can 
drive through it if I want to. No one's gonna stop me. There's no guard here. It says toys. Yes, it does. You can read, Putt Putt. Let's go to the gas station. It's Car Town Gas. Okay, air balloons. And water balloons. Dang, they, they just have like the actual balloons stored in the pump, and then they pump it out with the water in them and fully tied. Can I get that in my house, please? That would be great. Hey, look, the Carton Zoo! It's open! We saved that, you know. Oh, that guy looks like he's, uh, he's a little bit of an oil holic. Uh oh. Baldini's a grocery store! <laughs> Baldini's like, you know what you want me. Let's leave up the zoo poster. Hey, I should clean my windshield. That last bug really made a mess. <laughs> yeah, you barely got away with your life, Papa, with all those bugs. Look how shiny uh, it is now. Actually, it's no different. Clean. That's much better. Yes, it is. It's extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline. That's just what Redline Rick said I needed for the big race. Great! <laughs> Gas is free? Can I live in Cartown? Wow, this is extra high powered. <laughs> Let's go to the toy store. Oh, I can't wait to go to the toy store. That extra high powered, high octane gasoline doesn't last very long. I should take some of it with me to the race so I can use it there. Okay, wow, that like lasts. <laughs> that lasts like no time at all. No wonder it's free. It lasts for like five seconds. Holy cow. I still want to live there where if regular gas is free, though. Also, it wouldn't be a humongous entertainment game if Fatty Bear didn't have a reference of some kind. <laughs> he puts cakes in his face and eats them. Oh wow, it's a bumper car. Oh, if it isn't my favorite customer, but but. Hi, Mrs. Widget. I was just looking around. Oh, you look around to your heart's content. Me, I'm trying out all the new toys in the stock room. I want to make sure they work just right. Have fun! <laughs> oh, I always do! <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't realize that that's a bumper car. That is perfect for the toy store. Also, she seems to have lost most of her Scottish accent, but that that's okay. That's fine. It's a new game, new actors, I get it. Also, no wonder Pup Hut's her best customer. He's like the only kid car in town. <laughs> it says free. Those batteries must be free. Great. These might come in handy. Puppet's the kind of guy who takes up, picks up the free sign, puts it in front of something else. It's like, well, it said free, so I just took it. Oh wow. Monkey band. Hey there. That's actually not bad. That sounds pretty good. Oh, I am so happy that the penguin appeared. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes, the best penguin dance. Oh, that's like the least creepy Jack in the Box I've ever seen. Neato! This looks like great fun! Oh yeah, I forgot about this little game over here. So it's like a pinball game where we you need to beat the uh, other car. So you can uh, load yourself up with fuel to get more. That is bad. That gives you a flat tire. And now we need to get the spare tire in order to start moving again. <laughs> so now we started moving again. No, 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 not in there. Dock on it! This game is really hard to win. Yeah, I think I'm the red car. Dog on it! <laughs> the, the, the gas is like the only way to go faster, and uh, it's right next to the flat tire. <laughs> Oh, putting them in the ducks slows down the other car. 
Come on! Give me the spare tire. Nope, they won. I do not like that game. Are you ready to go? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I'm gonna win the real race, not this fake race. Papa goes in, grabs the free stuff, and leaves. Car Ooh. town color. Whoa, it would be great to get a new paint job. It says car town color, three cents. Go ahead and slip three coins in that slot, partner. I better oh, figure wow. out a way to earn some coins so I can get a new paint job. I just realized, what if the coin slot is this guy's eye? He has like one eye, and he's like, hey, you need to go coin. ahead and slip three coins in that slot, partner. Whoa, it's an empty bottle. That doesn't belong there. I think I'll recycle it. So apparently there's somebody going around and littering all throughout Car Town. These green bottles will appear on a bunch of different screens. Pick them up if you see them, because you can uh, recycle them and get money in exchange. Much like in the real world, if you recycle old bottles, you will get paid in uh, money. It's pretty great. Hey Smokey, you didn't litter that, did you? Well, if it isn't Putt-Putt, what can I do for you today? I just stopped by to say hi, Smokey! It's always nice to have you visit. Thanks, Chief! <laughs> Smokey's don't mind those. Oh, wow, he's part of the, with the Red Cross? That's pretty cool. You didn't litter this, did hey, you? Hey, an empty bottle! I've been meaning to get that recycled. Say, Putt-Putt, if you wouldn't mind, could you take it to be recycled for me? Yes, sir, <laughs> Can you Smokey? do my dirty work for me, Putt Putt? I'd be happy to. <laughs> Can you indulge my laziness? Yeah! Thanks, little fella. <laughs> That's a big help. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the recycling plant is at the other end of town. So, Putt Putt, are you going to race in the car town 500? I sure hope so, Smokey. There's just a few things I have to get first. Well then, I'm sure you'll have no trouble. <laughs> yeah, it's. Just, I remember when you had to join the parade and you mowed people's lawns by like 20% of them and they paid you full price. It was great. Hey, little zing in your life. Drive on over to Car Town Gas and try high powered, high octane gasoline. It makes your engine rev really fast. Yeah, for two seconds. It's a ripoff. Let's be honest here. Alright, last place to visit in the square. Good morning, a putt putt. Good morning, Mr. Baldini. I'm getting ready to race in the Car Town 500. Oh, that is so exciting. You let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. Thanks, Mr. Baldini. I will. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. These little spacemen are pretty cool. <laughs> wow. Baldini has a bat living in his store, and even he's not eating the program. There. Okay, maybe that should tell you something about the quality of the produce in town. Maybe it's a good thing I don't live in I'm a town. hoping you'll win the Car Town 500 butt butt. Gee, thanks, Mr. Baldini. Me too. <laughs> I put a lot of money on you, so if you lose, I'll be out $500. <laughs> Gambling is bad, kids. Don't do it. Maybe I'll come on out to the speedway and watch the race, huh? That would be great. <laughs> he is the, he's the most stereotypical Italian ever. And it's me. Hiya, Pot Pot. This is a fine day for the big race, huh? Don't you think so? <laughs> oh, it sure is, Mr. Baldini. Yeah, it could be raining. Hey, Pot Pot. I'm getting a little low on produce. How'd you like to do me a favor and go out on the farm and pick me up some more, huh? Sure. What do you need, Mr. Baldini? Well, uh, let me see. I need a one of tomato, a one of ear of corn, and a one of bunch of broccoli. Okay, Just one of I each. Can get that. Excellent. <laughs> you bring them back to me in this box, and I'll give you two coins, but but. Gee, thanks. I could use some coins, Mr. Baldini. <laughs> Great. Uh, well, good luck. I could use some coins. I know you smell really bad. You need a car wash. <laughs> I also, I think it's just amazing that uh, inside the box he actually has the outlines of each vegetable like perfectly set. And why does he only want one? Like he's like only one person in town even eats the tomatoes, so that's okay. Just get the one. <laughs> we don't want them to go bad. 
Oh man, what a guy, what a guy Mr. Baldini is. And that, I think, is all the time we have for this episode. I'm going to try to keep the episodes under a half hour, roughly around 20-25 minutes for this uh, Let's Play, because a lot of people get bored watching Pup Pup for more than that amount of time. So, I'm going to pull up that save menu. Anyhow, that's how you save. We can load it up next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie, and tune in next time. We're going up back to where Green Street, Bowie Street, and Red Street are. Maybe things will have changed, and we'll get to see more of Car Town for that way. Thanks for watching, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.